weed of the week is absinthe wormwood. When you think about tough perennial weeds, this is one of them, but look at where we see absinthe wormwood. Now, some people say, oh, it's just in the roadside or it's out in the pasture a little bit. Okay, well, it's not in every pasture. Why is it in the pasture that it's in? Many times we're looking at a situation where we've overgrazed or where we've got an extreme drought and we aren't getting good grass growth. A couple things that you can do here. The first one is fertility. You've got to manage fertility out in pasture areas and do it right, because if you get good thick growth, you're going to choke out weeds like absinthe wormwood. The other thing is just grazing management. Rotational grazing is so key to stopping weeds and also improving grass production and the health of your pasture long term. All right, let's say you've got this weed out there. How are you going to stop it? Now, certainly the Camba and 2,4-D have some activity. Milestone is pretty decent. My favorite's going to be Tordon. You'll find other products out there like Chaparral that'll have some activity and stuff too. But let's go back to this Tordon. A lot of people for many years said, you know what, I can only afford to spray 2,4-D out there. Well, do you know how much a quart of LV6 costs today? It's almost seven bucks, which is about the same as a pint of Tordon. Well, a pint of Tordon versus a, a quart of LV6, there's no comparison when it comes to absinthe wormwood. You've got much better control out of that Tordon and you have much longer residual. The only downside to that residual is you better make sure it's going to be a grass for many years because you can't go in and plant a broadleaf crop for a really long time. We usually will say, hey, if we are spraying a quart or or even a pint of Tordon, you're going to have to wait a decade or more before you take that pasture out and turn it into raising a broadleaf crop like soybeans. Absinthe wormwood is rarely a problem in crop, uh, but if it is, get out there with a burn down ahead of time. It's a perennial weed. It's going to be up early. It's also going to be up in the fall, so you can do fall treatments as well. Uh, that works great, especially around a broadleaf crop like soybeans, for example, do a fall treatment. You can use dicamba in front of corn. You could use 2,4-D in front of soybeans, especially if you're doing them in the fall where you can use high rates. Yeah, just don't use Tordon out in your crop fields, and you probably won't have too many issues. Well, that's it for our Weed of the Week, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.